Hello, everyone. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the new free uh, podcast um, app. Uh, anyone can download it. It's on Android and iOS. There's um, a lot of creation tools that you get to use for free. It gives you your RSS code, and you can use it on your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. Uh, you make money from your podcast with no minimum leadership. Everything you need in one place on one app. Don't forget to download yours today, now. Hello, podcast world. Welcome to my channel. Today is May 5th, 2021, 9.28 a.m. And that's right, it's May 5th. That's Cinco de Mayo. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, how I love me some Cinco de Mayo. It's taco time. It's time to get out there and get you some Mexican Hispanic cuisine. I know, I know that you love you some Mexican food. I can eat Mexican food pretty much every day. Um, tamales, burritos, enchiladas, quesadillas, like you name it, um, nachos. Like the culture is so great. I love the Mexican culture. Um, señoritas and mamacitas. Oh, muy guapo, bonita. Right, right, right. I never actually learned to speak Spanish because, well, the Spanish one teacher I had wasn't certified and she didn't really teach us. I probably could have taken it upon myself to learn. I know uh, small uh, Spanish phrases or maybe even less than that. And I used to work in Houston and Houston has a strong Spanish culture, and well, where it doesn't have a real Spanish strong kind of culture, um, it's a it's a second language that I feel is a nice necessity, and they should definitely start teaching it um, way early. You know, like they're teaching us English, they need to be teaching us Spanish as well. So that way, by the time we make it into high school, we will already be somewhat fluent. And I feel like if they started teaching it somewhere around um, the, the 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 what is the intermediate stages of, of education, you know, which is like the the third, fourth, and fifth grade, and by the time you hit the middle school ages or whatever, the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, you will definitely be on top of your game and be able to communicate with our Hispanic brethren. Now, since that's not the case, and since it's not really some sort of mandate, and since, uh, um, hey, the past four years, we were dealing with Trump and his outrage of building a wall, which would have made no sense, because the Spanish culture, they're hard workers. They're, have you ever seen these guys fix a car or, or build a house? Like, Come on, I, hey, have you ever went and had margaritas in, in real homemade margaritas and, and some real Mexican cuisine? Like, oh my gosh, you know, it's great. <laughs> I mean, like, people out there are talking about barbecue and turkey legs and, you know, all sorts of stuff like that. But at the end of the day, uh, or Italian, Olive Garden or something like that, you know, or... Uh, subs and, and, and deli and, and, and soul food, you know, but come on, <laughs> like they're the only real culture that has like a strong isolation of like if you go, the food is relatively cheap and it's delicious and you can drink like <laughs> you're not, you know what I'm saying? Like if I go to soul, some soul food place, I'm more likely to get me uh, some tea and hot water cornbread or something and some greens or something like that. You know, that's like a uh, sweet potato pie or something, you know, a pecan pie. But if I go and I'm dealing with uh, the Hispanic culture, I'm going to get a margarita. I'm going to get me a Corona. I'm going to get me a Dos Equis. I'm going to get me, you know, all of that. I'm, I'm, I'm hey, you know, probably going to be taking shots of tequila. So, uh, shout out to Jose Cuervo. Like, you never know what's going to happen. And now, I must be honest. 
I just can't get down with the Mexican music. I am a music lover, you know, but when I go somewhere and um, I'll say it like this, and it's just not them. It's any music that has an accordion playing in it. I don't think I can get down with. And they definitely be having accordions and strings and all of that, you know, going on. And, you know, if it's not Selena, I don't know if I can get down with it. I mean, there will be times where I go off in there and it's 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 cool, you know what I'm saying, for a little while, you know, like, I, but I can't go to uh, the uh, 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 club. And they saw they playing, you know. It's like I could go to a country club, and eventually it's gonna it's gonna wear, you know. I, I gotta mix it up. You know, it don't matter. You know, say you can throw that in there. I could go to a place where they're playing everything, you know. But it's gotta be the hottest. It's gotta be the beats. Gotta be rocking. It's gotta make you want to dance. You know, what I'm saying I don't care if it's uh just that the dubstep or EDD or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't care, you know, like, it, it's just as long as, like, hey, oh, whatever it is, it's, it's got me, you know, because I'm not listening to every um, R&B, blues song, hip-hop, or, or, like, some people, some artists out there is trash, and, you know, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not for me, and it could be an age thing, uh, I don't really like loud music anymore, I don't understand why people have to so loud, you know, oh my god, um, but they do, and it is, and that's part of where I'm coming from now, because again, I guess because I'm older, I, I like to hear myself think, you know, with a feel in the background. Now, if I'm riding around, you better make sure that the song just got a bunch of bass in it, and it don't matter, you know what I'm saying, it ain't gotta, it's not the words, it's the beat, and if the beat ain't hot, then I don't want it. I'm that guy that's like, I, um... Every year, I mean, I was I was in band, so every year, you know, like when the drums start coming through with their cadences and cha 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 cha, boom, you know what I'm saying? It's when that hit, that drop, that boom, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to boom, and then you know, like when the tubas crank it up, I'm I'm all about all of that, you know. Um, so like, but the first thing that you will notice. Like I say, like that's why they make a drumline movie. They don't make a, a tuba song movie or a, a low brass movie or, or you know a high brass movie with the trumpets, you know, or a woodwind uh, thing or, or a flag girl thing. You know what I'm saying? A hey, 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 one band, one sound. But at the end of the day, the drums is where it's at. The drums is the heartbeat of the band. That's what they said. So. It don't matter. Even if you just uh, knocking on the table, making it a beat. That's how they used to do it back in the streets. If it was that is the case, then that's what it will be. Now, something else that I like about the Hispanic culture. Oh my gosh, you guys are just so beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You beautiful people. You know the women. Are, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. Like. Uh, if you take care of yourself, you know, y'all get the, the, the best of most world, of all worlds, you know. Hey, like I say, it's so wet, right? So, uh, <laughs> you got long hair, you know what I'm saying? All of that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, you know, it's just the, the, a lot of people don't understand what you're saying. So, if you don't speak English, it's kind of jacked up. <laughs> But, like I say, love Mexican food, something I pretty much eat every day. Um, uh, like, Taco Bell has always been, um, like, the, it's always open. Like they say, fourth meal. Uh, at one point in time, that was the go-to spot at um, after the club. We didn't have a, a Taco Cabana here, so I don't know what the hype is, but I hear good things about it. I mean, I, I've been to some, you know, but hey, and then let's say you go to a Hispanic restaurant, they going to give you those, um, those, uh, those, uh, corn flour chips, you know, and you're going to be uh, eating off of them for free, you know, 
That's they gonna start you off on that. And then, you know, me personally, I'm gonna get a margarita. You can't go to a Mexican restaurant without getting a margarita. Oh, man. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, like, if you go to hang out, go to a, 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 a Hispanic party, maybe a, a quinceanera or whatever, hey, that's when all the families come together. Because there's nothing like a Hispanic woman becoming a woman. Oh my god, she's got all her 15 year old friends there, and they're all happy that she's becoming a woman or whatever, and yeah, I've been to some hotel events where they're having a private party for their daughter, and she's, oh, get Sienna, you know, they're all over the place, I'm talking about it's packed out, it's like the whole sophomore class is in there, you know? So, freshman class, whatever. All, all of them have been there. All of her friends, all of her cousins, you know? And so, it's just it's just like they take over. And then they, uh, everyone's dressed up, you know? It, it's like like a prom or a ball or a banquet or something. And it's just, it's, it's a great feeling. But then, you know, like I said, they're, uh, the 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 gifts are being brought and the food and the drinks. Everyone's drinking. Hey, <laughs> you know, it's a whole like hey open bar at that point. So <laughs> like I like I said, I used to work at McAllister's and I used to work in the kitchen. And the people who worked in the kitchen generally were um, non English speaking and. They used to have get-togethers or whatever, and of course, I really wasn't invited. You know, it was a family affair. Not really tripping about it. You know what I'm saying? I probably would have slid through, maybe. You know, uh, I did try to kick it with a couple of people I worked with. We hung out and whatnot. It was, it was cool, um, but um, like I say, great feeling. Great feeling at the end of the day. Um, they have a great, they, they party hard, they work hard, and they party hard, and they drink hard, you know, um, so, on the other side of the, uh, of the story, the story of the drinking, oh man, I, I, I hate to see, uh, our hard working, illegal, uh, Hispanic workers get locked up. For drinking and driving. That is like the number one thing. If you're going to drink, don't drive, my friend. If you're going to drink, stay home. Especially if you're not legal. If you don't have a green card. If you don't have no papers. If you're not married into the country. Like, come on. <laughs> and then, they go to jail. And um, different situations for different places or whatever and it's a horrible experience for them I, I've seen Law and Order SVU did something on it I've seen uh, FBI Most Wanted did a thing on it or whatever and the worst thing about it is they were trying to scare the head of the FBI Most Wanted team by deporting his daughter and here's the worst part about that. It's how to say that she's a Hispanic. She was a little Indian girl. You don't get much more American than a Native American Indian girl. You know, like, she was born here. Her All her people were born here before you came and took over. But yet, she's where you, where you go to the porter to. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's, she's, she's Native. She's from here. She, her people was from here. Her ancestry is from here. Like, where would you go send her to? So, uh, like I said, she's 11 years old, and she didn't understand why the what was going on, and she felt bad, and the uh, FBI, her dad, um, was, like, so pissed off, you know, just as any parent should be, and he was ready to go to war over that, you know, because that is a scary experience. Um, children are separated from their parents and their family and vice versa. Um, me being here in Texas, I understand because, um, like, i seen this comedian um, and he said, he was British, and he was like, uh, I haven't uh, renewed my green card in a long time, because they're not looking for me, 
<laughs> right, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he's, to them, he's just another white guy. He's just white. But he's actually from across the pond. And he's actually not here legally. But they don't address that. And you know what he's not doing? He's not building no houses. He's not fixing on no cars. He's just over here drinking his coffee. You know, living off of... Well, I don't, I really don't know what they do, you know? Uh, I don't know what contribution he has, you know what I'm saying? He's just over here drinking his coffee, sipping his tea, you know, doing nothing. <laughs> so, like, not being harassed, basically. So, I mean, and since we, they don't want to deport us, you know, the African-American culture, they just want to execute us. Lately, I've been watching every Dick Wolf show and in somewhere in that season, they show um, a black person, male or female, especially male, getting executed by a routine traffic stop. Now, sometimes the the one I watched last night on the uh, FBI's Most Wanted show last night, it kind of was, you know. You, you you gave him too much. You gave him too much. You 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 did the wrong thing. You know you 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 talking. You know what I'm saying you're you're belligerent. You know um, you're, you're reaching for something. You know what I'm saying. Even though it's your cell phone, you're reaching for something. You're you giving them too many reasons to uh, to to you know do it. I, uh, Again, there's a movie called The Hate They Gave Us, you know, and they is the kid that gets killed. His name is Khalil, and he's doing too much. It's nighttime. The police, this, this is what you got to understand. The police are not afraid to shoot us. At the end of the day, they are afraid of their, they're more afraid of us for some reason. The people, the, the guys with the gun, they're in fear of their life every time that we get pulled over. I don't understand that. I never will understand that. Every time we get pulled over, um, just think that they're afraid of us. They think we have a gun for some reason. We all, black people, all we do is uh, carry guns. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a, a soccer mom, you know, senior mom. And it doesn't matter if you got a car full of kids. some reason, they want to believe that you have a gun. So, never, never... Uh, reach for anything in front of the police and don't say anything. That is like the first thing they say. You have the right to remain silent. Please use it. You don't, you shouldn't have to say or ask or do anything. You know, if, if they're going to give you a ticket, fight that in court. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if, if, if that's the case. And here goes another thing. I, um, the movie Queen and Slim. Same situation. They they doing too much, you know? Like, understand at the end of the day, you're dealing with the police. It don't matter if this is a good one or a bad one. It doesn't matter. Um, hey, it's 12, right? So, at the end of the day, you have a right to remain silent. Exercise your right. Keep your hands on the steering wheel in plain sight. Make sure that... He, he can see the hand your hands and that you know like don't you know I, that's a different topic for a different day a lesson in how to deal with the police and how to make it home safely and as they call it these days the talk and not enough people are having it and not enough people are exercising their rights to do absolutely nothing but make it home safe. That is the goal at the end of the day. You don't want to be killed by the police because you weren't doing... Yeah, they say it's like five-step process or whatever, you know? So, at the end of the day, please, please. But, yes, feel free. I know last year, Cinco de Mayo was on Taco Tuesday. This year, today is a Wednesday, and... It's definitely a good day for some kind of uh, burritos or something. I don't know. You know, go out there and enjoy your day. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, hopefully, you got something out of it because it, it gets real 
in the field. It gets real on the streets. So, like, thank y'all. I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. Hello, YouTube world. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop hot content like this. And stay tuned for the next video.